So, a couple things before we go into this video. Um, first off, if you guys remember, I did I brought back my Who Would Win segment back on Vlare, and my good friend, um, my good friend uh, Jay uh, from Jay's Comic Reviews, uh, created these uh, these uh, images for me, these uh, thumbnails for me. So, if anyone just wa to those wandering around the internet and finding these and hoping to find like a mock death battle kind of scenario, sorry, I'm not that technically sound to do that. Um, secondly. Secondly, I th I only had uh, I did a few on my Vlare channel, but Vlare's gone, so I still had the th several of the thumbnails left, and I figured, you know what, I'll just run these out. So I don't think I'll bring back Who Would Win, um, probably not. After I do these last few segments, and maybe I'll revisit some of the other segments I did on Vlare, bring those back, and then end it because you know uh, Jay worked really hard on it. So I was like. Uh, it would be unfair to Jay if I didn't use these thumbnails in some capacity. So, yeah. Um, so it goes without saying, before we get started, please do not give me requests. I don't want to see, like, a mountain of requests. I know certain people, I'm not going to call them out, but I know certain people are just going to ignore me and just throw out whatever they want. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not doing requests, all right? This is not about requests, this is about, you know, you guys having a discussion in the comments below about these, um, these characters and what would it be like if they fought. So, and yeah. So that's what's gonna happen. Um, and that's not gonna change. Not to be a dick, but, like, this is happening. Whether you like it or not, this is happening. So, anyway. So, I figured, let's talk about the, as you can see from the title, um, Thanos versus Sailor Galaxia from Sailor Moon. Now, real quick, because I forgot to a tell Jay what version of Thanos I wanted, you did see MCU Thanos on the thumbnail, but here's the thing, it's not MCU Thanos in the... Let me be very clear. It's not going to be MCU Thanos in um, in this scenario. It is going to be regular Marvel Comics Thanos without the Infinity Gauntlet. And you may be thinking, oh, well, how... You know, Thanos has got no chance then. Uh, we'll get to that. So, just for reference... Not MCU Thanos, Marvel comic Thanos, without Infinity Gauntlet, versus Sailor Galaxia. That's the, uh, that's the version of Galaxia we're going with. Oh, excuse me, ver version of Thanos, excuse me. Um, so let's get started. So in this, uh, let, like I said, this is Marvel comic Thanos with no Infinity Gauntlet. You may be thinking, oh, well, Galaxia already has this, you know, Thanos is nothing without the Infinity Gauntlet. To which I say, you're wrong, because this is still Thanos, and Thanos is... Yeah, I, I did that. Come at me, Dark Side fans. <laughs> anyway, so Thanos, um, even without the Infinity Gauntlet, is someone who is still a force to be reckoned with. You know, Thanos is a guy who is strong enough to take on the likes of the Hulk, Thor, Submariner... You give him a heavy hitter in any capacity, he is going to go mano y mano with them in, you know, in any form. He is incredibly strong. In fact, when he he fought Galactus once, again, no Infinity Gauntlet, and he fought Galactus uh, and actually charged up enough energy in his body to unleash it, blasted Galactus in the face, knocked his helmet off, and actually hurt Galactus. Granted, he lost that fight, but, like, the fact that he hurt Galactus shows you how, you know, how much of a powerhouse uh, the Mad Titan is. Thanos is also an excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighter and is incredibly intelligent. He is, you know, he's a master tactician, albeit his own arrogance gets in the way of him. But still, here is a dude who is just absolute brutality and, uh cruelty incarnate. This is a guy who knows how to, who, the moment you say the word Thanos in the Marvel Universe, everyone in Mar- everyone, every superhero is like, fuck me. Remember, the two scariest words in the Marvel Universe are, Thanos wins. So, there, and there is a very good reason for that being. So, there you go. Um, there's a bit about Thanos. Let's talk about Sailor Galaxia. So Sailor Galaxia is the mad... I guess you could call her the mad... Uh, the mad guardian. 
because uh, Sailor Galaxia was once the most powerful Sailor Guardian until, uh, essentially, this energy called Chaos took over her body and now goes through from planet to planet collecting the star seeds of other Sailor Guardians of other planets. In fact, she was so scary that people would sacrifice their Sailor Guardians of their planet to appease her. Um... Uh, Sailor, uh, Sailor Galaxia has a multitude of weaponry, such as energy projection, teleportation, um, force fields, a really good hand-to-hand -hand fighter, incredibly intelligent, and she has the ability to become Sailor Chaos, which is this dark, demonic, just her power is just fully unleashed. So, that is, you know, that's just a small rundown on Sailor Galaxia. So what would it be like if Thanos and Galaxia got into a fight, you know? What would it be like if these two got into just a total all-out brawl? So, like I said, Thanos is someone who can go toe to toe, who could actually, you know, you know, cold cock uh, Galactus, and that is not a hard, that is not an easy feat. But you have Galaxia who has killed entire galaxies. She's literal. She's literally murdered entire galaxies. And the same can be said with Thanos, but here's the thing. Galaxia has done it at a faster rate. Thanos, it takes a while, you know, and keep in mind, this is not, we're not going to include Thanos's true, you know, the Black Order or his servant, other servants, or we're not going to include, um, Galaxia's posse as well. I know they have a name, I'm just, it's just slipping my mind. But yeah, I'm not going to include Galaxia's posse in this little, um, in this, in this little brawl either. So, it's just going to be them. So, like I said, Thanos, while he did kill, a, you know, he has, like, left a whole trail of bodies in his wake, Galaxia has really doubled, you know, is, is double that. But at the same time, Galaxia, while she is cunning, she doesn't really, like, she, she just depends more on her power than anything else. She depends more on just sheer will. And Thanos, while he does do that too, he's smart. He knows that sometimes I get into fights that I made... Uh, you know, the Galactus fight was kind of an example of that. And remember, he survived that. He took a full blast from Galactus. So if he can take uh, a full-on blast and survive the most... One of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe, you know, the Planet Eater then he could probably take a lot of pun it goes without reason it goes without saying that he could take a lot of punishment that Galact galaxia dishes out like she could just keep blasting him and blasting him over and over again and he would just be like hmm i have had worse so that's the thing about thanos is that while like i said galaxia depends a lot more on her power than she does her tactics Thanos has a better mix of it. He is more, I depend on my own intelligence, my own, you know, my own willpower, my stamina, and my just sheer brutality. So Thanos definitely is more, I'm going to mix my brains with brawn, and not to say Galaxia is an idiot, but she depends way too much on, you know, just head on, I'm going to kill you over and over again until you die. And that's the other, here's the other thing. Thanos doesn't care if you kill him. And that's really dangerous because a guy who doesn't fear death is someone you should really worry about. And that's Thanos to a T. Because Thanos will give you ev if he's gonna no if he knows he could die in a fight, he's gonna give it his all. So if that's what Thanos does is that he he is not gonna hold back a single ounce of his power. Neither is Galaxia. And the other thing is, you know, Galaxia is gonna be just com a complete nightmare. It would be a complete nightmare in this fight because you know she's killed planets as well a lot quicker than Thanos has actually and remember the what you know her powers are doubled when she goes in, when she becomes sailor chaos so there is another thing you have to look at you know she murdered a good goddamn chunk of the of the sailor guardians remember that people um but yeah these two I have no doubt in my mind that if these two ever fall, if Thanos and Galaxia ever, um, sorry, that's the chair. If Thanos and Galaxia ever got into, like, a real fight, there would be several planets just wiped out. So, um, I, 
I'm going to leave it up to you guys out there. I'm going to leave it up to you guys as to who do you think would come out on top in a matchup like this, because this is a really good... I thought this would be a really good one. So, um, you guys tell me in the comments below. If you think Thanos would win, put hashtag Thanos wins and list off the reasons why you think Thanos would come out on top. But if you think Galaxia wins, put hashtag Galaxia wins and list off the reasons why you think she would be the, uh, the winner of this fight. And uh, once again, I have to really stress that I am not taking any requests, so don't even bother uh, leaving them in the, in the comments below. Uh, Jay, hope you're watching this. Thank you again for the thumbnails. I'll be using more of them uh, because I, um, I still want to use them because, again, with Vlare gone, and you worked very hard on these, so I felt like it would be a shame not to use them. So yeah, um, like I said, just comment below, let me know. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. And uh, once again, I am Mr. Multiverse, and I'll see you next time in the multiverse. Uh, bye, sorry.